In the cloud, every architectural decision you make is a buying decision and using the wrong service for your workload can be a very expensive mistake. And I'm sure by now you've probably read articles like this that complains about how serverless is so expensive. And this one even made it to the top of Hacker News and got more than 100,000 views. And it's pretty much always a case of someone using the wrong service for their workload. Perhaps they didn't understand the pricing model and how the service would be charged before started using it in anger. And since this particular example is related to using API Gateway where he should have used ALB instead, let's take a minute and compare API Gateway REST APIs, HTTP APIs and ALB purely from a cost perspective. First, let's get the easy comparison out of the way. API Gateway HTTP API is a less powerful version of REST API, but it's over 70% cheaper than REST APIs. One important thing to note here is that HTTP APIs are metered in 512 kilobytes chunks. So a request to upload a one megabyte document would count as two HTTP requests on your AWS bill. And in terms of features, the promised feature parity never happened. And the HTTP APIs are still missing many features that we want, like API keys and usage plans, resource policies, and integration with WAF, as well as integration with X-Ray and ALB. So while it's a lot cheaper, it's also missing a lot of things that you may want. But at least the pricing calculation is still simple enough and is based on the number of requests that you handle. When it comes to ALBs, it's a bit more tricky. There's an hourly charge for having an ALB, but then there's also the load balancer capacity units or LCUs, which is calculated based on the number of factors averaged over an hour. So let's look at a simple example of one request per second averaging 200 milliseconds and having a total of one kilobyte in both the request and response data. Based on this, we would need one LCU from the ALB and the different options would cost us roughly this much. But as we scale up the throughput to say a thousand requests per second, we will need to work out how much LCUs we need, which will be the greatest of these four categories, connections per second, active connections per minute, gigabytes per hour, and the rule evaluations per second. And in this case, based on having a thousand new connections per second, we are gonna need 40 LCUs. And from that, we can work out the cost for ALB, which turns out to be significantly cheaper compared to API Gateway, REST, and HTTP APIs. Of course, ALB doesn't have all the capabilities that API Gateway REST API has. For example, it doesn't support custom authorized Lambda functions, but for high throughput scenarios, the cost of API Gateway can be very significant and makes it almost a no-brainer to switch to ALBs. And as a rule of thumb, if you have a high throughput requirement, then you should prefer services that you pay by the hour because they're typically order of magnitude cheaper when running at scale. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.